Hi guys, if you are new to the channel, I am Aditya Verma. I am a DP photographer from Mumbai. The response I've been getting from last five days for my Earth Lats have been magnificent. People are showing me so much love, support, and also giving me a lot of feedback. Without going into lot of details, Across Hundred is Fuji Films' most cinematic, filmic, and iconic black and white film, which renders beautiful textures and contrasty images. Uh, at a very medium to low sensitive ASA of 100, but converting such an iconic film into a digital video LUT is mostly over ambitious and also sounds like a scam, which isn't because I spent a lot of time understanding how ACROSS renders skin tones, how it renders mid tones, highlights, and uh, whites and even deep blacks and also a photo and a video is a completely different ball game so i also had to maintain that balance of not making it too contrasty also uh, not crushing it crushing a lot of details especially if you're a black and white lover and also if you're a filmmaker who, do, who don't mind to shoot in black and white this is a very good combination of uh, contrast and how well it can render textures i'm going to show some samples in a bit uh, why am I creating a LUT where Fuji is already providing a simulation for ACROSS inside the camera is one because I don't think uh, I don't think the simulation that Fuji provides is close to ACROSS 100 or maybe it's just me. Two is because to have that flexibility in the post to decide whether to go for black and white or color because a lot of filmmakers don't shoot black and white directly they try to do it in the post because they also want to check in for color so then i think this lut will be a great alternative the third reason is to have enough dynamic range to go into the post to have extra push and pull ability when you shoot in different lighting conditions you have a seamless edit it's always important to have uh, ability to have a little bit of push and pull in post i have few tips for people using this luts number one never underexpose the image when you're shooting especially for this lut treat it like a film where you never underexpose it uh, you can pull and push later in the post uh, always expose to the right or expose it correctly when you're color correcting uh, keep your blacks always below 10 ire uh, even if it clips a little bit, I would say keep it below 10 IRE, that way you'll have these richer blacks. Uh, this is a bonus tip to make it even more authentic, uh, add film grain. If you have studio version of Resolve, you can add film grain with that. Or uh, if you have any other film grain packs, you can definitely use them. I have one in my Selfie account, I'll leave the links down below. Always remember, do the grain in the end after all your color grade and after you uh, confirming your edit. Okay, now enough of talking. Watch the glorious before and after footage of the LUT.
I hope you guys like the across lat I created in the lat pack. There are more lats in the pack. I have put together a piece which I am actually proud of. If you spend some time, these could be the only lats that you would ever need. Thanks to the lockdown, I got some time to make some lat pack. I have saved lats from here and there, but I brought them all together. Spent a lot of time checking on like uh, tons and tons of TBs of data, and I would love to know your feedback after you use them. Thanks a lot, guys, for all the love you've been showing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, consider subscribing, click on the bell icon, like the video, comment on the video, all the good things. See you guys. Bye. If you're using my film pack. Hello, hello. Hi, if you're new here, 